Hi, this is Suzanne from the Shopster Marketing Team, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get Shopster Store set up. So let's begin by clicking on the Store tab. So the very first time you visit our site um, and build your store, or go to build your store, you're going to be taken to our Store Builder Wizard, which is really going to walk you right through the process. It makes it really easy. So on step one, first thing you want to do is give your store a name. I'm thinking I'm going to create a sports store today, so I'm going to name my store Sports Town. Scroll down the page a little further and choose a template that appeals to you and select the color choice. And under the Choose Your Logo section, keep the Use My Store Name button selected. And the reason I say this is this is just a basic intro run through video. We have a lot of features that uh, aren't displayed in this wizard that you'll definitely want to go back and explore. So if you have a premium package, you're getting access to a lot more templates than we're showing here and you will want to explore that later. Same as if you've purchased a custom logo, we will get that to you after you've set uh, your store up for the very first time and you can add that in later. So if you do have any changes to make, don't worry about it. This isn't set in stone, this is just a quick run through. When you've done all this, click on the Go to Step 2 button. Right, so on this page we're going to be s creating your store pages and menus. So along the top navigation, those are your menus, and when you click into a menu item, that'll take you to the various pages. Uh, at Shopster, we have auto-selected a few really important key ones for you, such as home, featured products, contact us page, uh, shipping and returns. But we're also going to click off on the policies, help and FAQs, and about us, because these are definitely pages you are going to want to have and include in your store. Click on go to step three when you're done. The third and final step in the Store Builder Wizard is creating your product categories. And when you're going to create your product categories, you're going to want to think of a logical way to group your products that's going to make sense to both yourself and store visitors. So for my example, I've got a sports store called Sports Town. I'm going to group my products by sport. So I'm going to go and enter in a football category, a baseball category, and a basketball category. I've also decided that I don't want to have a fourth category, so I am going to delete it. Uh, but remember, if you've got more categories for your products, you can always go and add them as you see fit. When you're done this, click on the Finish button, and voila, you're done the Store Builder Wizard. To see what you've done so far, click on the View My Store tab. So now we're in our store, and if you notice, here are the menu and pages we've created. You can actually see the pages by clicking into each individual menu item. It shows the product categories I've gone and created, my football, baseball, and basketball. And while there aren't any products in there, uh, I will cover how to do that in a later video. What I'm going to show you next is how to change out this default content we've added in for you and replace it with your own unique content because if you want to attract store visitors that's definitely a must-have. So let's go on to that. To replace the default content on your store pages you're going to click on the store pages link. So now we're in the manage pages section and this section lists all the pages you've gone and created in the wizard. So there's the about us, contact us, featured products, help and FAQs, home, policies page and your shipping returns page. To go in and add your own unique content, you're going to click on the home link. So now we're in the editing section for our pages and we are going to edit our home page. So you'll notice here there's the home title, the URL name, which is basically the web address, the status, we're going to show it in the storefront, this is a must have if you want your page to show up, and the default content. I'm going to scroll down and do here is highlight all this, delete it, and let's put something new in there. Let's go 
Welcome to Sports Town. And now that we've got some content in there, what we can do is we can change the font on it by highlighting whatever we want to change. Here's our font font bar. I'm going to make this heading 2. I'm going to leave this at the regular paragraph because it's just general text. Now you can also do a bunch of other things in this content editor. You can add a picture. Uh, if you know HTML and are a little more advanced, you can edit your HTML source code and do some coding. You can also add links and how you do that is you'd highlight the section you want to create a hyperlink in. Click on this button and add in the web address in the little pop-up that pops up. A bunch of other things you can do, much like uh, Microsoft Word. You can bold, you can italicize, underline, center your text, create bullets, a numbered list, you name it. One thing you've got to make sure you do when you've finished everything, save your page. So now let's view those changes we've made to our store by clicking on the View Store tab. And there we are. Changes made. Easy peasy. Last thing I really want to show you uh, in this video is in the very first step of the wizard, you had the opportunity to add your own logo, uh, choose some template colors, so on and so forth. I'm going to show you how to do that now and how to make those changes if you're interested. So click on the Customize tab. And here we are. So this is the store logo section. If you want to add a logo, you click on the Change Logo button. So if you have purchased your Shopster custom logo design, when we give it to you, you would go to this page, click this button, and add the file or upload the file to your system. It's easy. If you want to change the color scheme on your template, maybe you don't like blue, silver, and burgundy, you want to change it to olive green and burgundy, you can do that there. And you can save your settings when you're done. Let's say you want to change your template. You do that in the design library. As I mentioned in the first part of this video, we don't show all the templates we have available to our premium accounts. Uh, and we definitely do have a lot of great templates that you want to explore and check out. To do that, you'd click on the design library link there and choose the template that appeals to you in your business. Well, that's all folks. In about five minutes, we've run through how to create a great looking Shopster store. And all that's left for you to do is add products and start making sales. One last point I do want to mention is that this video was a basic run through of the setup. I glossed over a lot of our custom features and a lot of the absolutely fabulous perks we offer members in terms of customizations, store settings, so on and so forth. Uh, you definitely won't want to miss out on any of those. So when you're in the store tab, definitely explore around and learn what our system can do for you and then start making sales. Thanks a bunch.